Well, 13 investigates discovered that multiple city licensed businesses may have ties to an illegal sex industry in Colorado Springs. Police here believe around 30 massage businesses are a front for human trafficking and prostitution. A warning that the story includes sexually explicit information. In a 13 investigate special report, Dan Beatty is live outside one of those spas to explain what he's uncovered in our ongoing investigation, illicit spas hiding in plain sight. Dan. Heather, Bart, these licensed businesses are in our own backyards. This one directly behind me is called Lucky Massage, located in this shopping center on South 8th Street, just a few feet away from the KRDO studios. The license? Yeah. Can I see it? Uh -huh. A new Colorado Springs law requires certain massage businesses to be licensed. The city regulation is part of an effort to weed out illicit spas suspected of human trafficking. It outlaws people living inside massage businesses, requires them to close by 11 p.m., and prohibits the spas advertising sex online. 46 massage businesses currently hold city licenses, but 13 investigates found eight of the licensed spas received recent reviews about illegal sexual services offered on the website Rubmaps. Rubmaps website says it is a form for erotic massage parlor reviews and happy endings. Colorado Springs police previously told 13 investigates they use Rubmaps to identify illicit spas and gather evidence. I've seen a couple reviews online about this business. Are you Ma'am? The city issued Victory Spa a license in September. 13 investigates found eight sexual reviews posted online about the spa since then. Like this one from December, where a supposed customer wrote, quote, sex was pretty good. 13 investigates rang the doorbell trying to get answers about what was going on inside Victory Spa. Moments later, our cameras captured a young woman being escorted out the back, wearing a robe and holding her clothes. Are you guys selling sex for money? No, we don't. Asian Massage on the 2400 block of Boulder Street is also licensed, and recent online reviews suggest sex is still for sale there. Sex for money? No. No? No, 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 no. When 13 investigates walked into the business, we were greeted by this woman identifying herself as Lee. Using a translator on her phone, she says it was her first day on the job. My boss called me only massage. Hello. We also visited Energy Day Spa in a shopping mall off of Carefree Circle. Sorry, I will. The city granted Energy Day Spa a self-employment exemption, which means the spa isn't required to apply for the massage business license. But sexual reviews like this keep popping up online. On November 29th, the Rubmap user review of Energy Day Spa goes into exhaustive detail about the massage and sexual acts that came after. Writing, quote, I was given access to every corner of her body. We showed the woman we met inside. Gave money for sex. Oh, no, 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 no. That's what it says. Through a phone translator, she told us not to trust the online reviews. Some guests are boring? Yeah. Colorado Springs Councilman Dave Donaldson tells 13 Investigates he's concerned about how the new city licensing law is working. And by now, every one of them would have either been shut down or would be in the process of uh, the court system. We showed Donaldson a lewd advertisement posted on an escort website, Skip the Games, in December. It includes a phone number for a spa in Colorado Springs. The ad showing naked women listing dozen of sex acts, which is a direct violation of the licensing law. I don't think they respect it. I think they, they see it as the paper tiger or something with no teeth, and you, you can't blame them. Colorado Springs is one of three cities in the state that has a law like this on the books. Tonight at 6, we explain how Colorado Springs police are going about enforcing this law, and we hear from a local human trafficking expert and how he fears that this law doesn't do enough to protect the potential victims that are working in these so-called spas. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Dan Beatty, 13 Investigates. All right, Dan, good work.